Welcome to Zscript Advanced. This is a course slash resources for the ZBrush scripting language called Zscript. This course was created to supplement my free course that is already available online on my YouTube channel. It's called ZBrush Zscript Fundamentals and you should have access to it by using internet shortcut provided in your download. The free online course should give you the fundamentals that will that you will require to understand how the Zscript Advanced course really works. This course will provide you with over three hours of video tutorials that go over the provided scripts in the exercise files. The reason why I say this is a course slash resources pack is because not all the videos go in depth to what every piece of the code does. After taking my fundamentals course online and going through the first few videos in this course, you should have a good understanding on how the last videos in the code provided really works. We're going to start up the course by looking at plugin behavior and I'm going to supply you with two little plugins here that will help you understand how variables work across plugins and how you'll be able to communicate between plugins. We're going to learn how we can use custom images in our switches. So we can use two different images, one for an on state and one for an off state. I'll also provide you with a base script that will allow you to create radio buttons with custom images. We're going to go over different methods of opening and closing sub palettes with buttons, switches, or buttons that contain images. We're going to briefly look at the slip command and we're going to use it to use a slider that auto updates itself in the note bar. I will provide you with a script that will help you create geometry in ZBrush, even creating complex shapes like this one here. One thing that ZScript lacks is objects and I will provide you a script where you can have object oriented programming inside of Zscript. By using that script you can create objects or let the user create these own objects and then access them or change them when you need. I will also provide you with a save and load settings systems for so that the user can save settings and load settings. With this you should have what you need to create high quality plugins for ZBrush. I should also mention that this is all Zscript language. We are only going to use Zscript in this course. We're not going to use any exterior language like C++, C Sharp, Python, nothing like that. Perhaps in the future I might do another course where we can look at external uh, languages and implement them with Zscript. I hope you enjoyed the course and make good use of all the resources that comes with it.